If you ever wondered why the opioid epidemic happened, just watch this video. So I hopped on LinkedIn and found current and former employees and began reaching out to them. What Boyd discovered went beyond titration and no-show speaker programs. It was a decadent sales culture in service of one goal. Alec Berlikoff created a culture that the only thing that mattered was a prescription of subsis. What it took did not matter, and he was very clear about that. 2015, let me begin. It's just therapeutics, that is our name. We're raising the bar and we're changing the game. His sales reps, like the ones who created this rap video for a company-wide contest, bought in. He argued strongly that if you're producing, you know, you should have a lot of fun. We're making history because we're great by choice. I love hydrations, yeah, that's not a problem. And I got new patients and I got a lot of He encouraged, or at least tolerated, doctors and female staff having affairs. I got new patients and I got a lot of If you want to be great, listen to my voice. You can be great, but it's your choice. Sex with a doctor or chartering a private jet and taking a couple doctors to, say, Cancun, Mexico. It's been done. I encouraged these people, implored them to form relationships. If you want to be great, listen to my voice. You can be great, but it's your choice. Because with relationship comes what? Trust. Whoa! And if there's no trust there, they certainly are not going to get involved in a quid pro quo situation. I love titration, yeah, that's not a problem.